Well, weeks may have passed since hundreds of dogs were rescued from an alleged puppy mill operation in Eden, but the outpouring of support still flows strong in this area. 47 ABC's Lili Zhang tells us about the latest fundraising effort going on in Salisbury, which is sure to bowl you over. That distinct sound <laughs> is helping the Wicomago County Humane Society. It's called Bark and Bowl. Hosted by the Southbound Alley and Tito's Vodka. Well, I have two dogs that pretty much run my life. So I, I love dogs. My partners love dogs. And, you know, Tito's does a big push. They call themselves Vodka for dog people. Anything that involves dogs or animals, they're all for it. Chris Van Sant is one of the owners of the Southbound Alley in Salisbury. Monday's event is an effort to raise money for the Humane Society, which recently took dogs under their wing. In early April, Authorities seized more than 300 from an Eden home in conditions they described as deplorable. So officials at the bowling alley say they wanted to put their heads together with the liquor producer. Tito's sponsored two lanes. We have local celebrities and business owners coming in all day. We're all just going to bowl as one big team. Man, Sam says that Tito's wants to raise at least three thousand dollars by the end of Monday night. How it works? They'll be donating 20 cents per point scored. But that's just Tito's pledge. Van Sant says 25% of Southbound's Monday proceeds will also go to the Humane Society. Executive Director Aaron Balsamo admits they don't need any additional supplies, but funds could be used beyond the rescue dogs from Eden. Money wise, you know, it could go towards health care for the dogs uh, and the cats as well. It's starting to get to our busy season where we're going to have a lot of cats coming in. So, you know, the money helps to go towards helping those cats as well. Van Sant says he'd like to see between five and ten thousand dollars raised, meaning a lot of fun. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> for good cause. We think we're going to get there, but you know, if I'm here at one o'clock bowling by myself, we're going to get there one way or the other. Lili Zhang, 47 ABC. Now, if you could not make it out tonight, organizers tell us that you can always drop off monetary donations at the bowling alley itself, and we have the address on our website, 47 ABC.